Hey guys, what's going on? This is Wes back with another tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to export a Revit file to AutoCAD properly. So if you're familiar with AutoCAD, we know that AutoCAD is pretty dominant in architecture industry as well. So we're going to look at how do we export the files from Revit to AutoCAD. So I'm going to go to my file menu and here you've got the option export. So you got your CAD formats here so you can export files to DWG, DSXF, DGN. So I'm going to be showing you how to export in DWG because that's a primary format for AutoCAD. So I'm just going to click on it and then you get this dialog box right here you see your current view to export but you can choose whatever view you want to export. You want to uh, export that as a 3D, all the plans here. So I'm just going to click here and I'm going to click on in session view and sheet set. So I'm going to click on that and now I get another list show list so all views and sheets and sets all right so I'm going to click here and I'm going to click on all views and sheet set in a model right so here we get all the lists available in our Revit project so I got my 3D view here elevation east south west so whatever you want to export you can just check them on so I want to export 3D elevation and I will export my floor plan level 2 floor plan and I will select some of the sheets as well so sheet A1 so I can select whatever I want to select so once you're done with that before you click on next I want to show you another thing that in in export setup right so you got this option there so if you click on this export setup which will bring up the dialog box so this is a very powerful dialog box here you change a lot of things in your um, project to export so here I've got my layers available here so I've got all my categories available in my project even more than what I haven't even um, mentioned in my file yet so you can select export a layer option so I want to keep that as a standard so here you can select export all properties by layer but do not export overrides all that stuff just play around with them as well so this one thing I want to show you here if you go to solid tabs I want to change that to ACI solid so I don't want to export my 3d view to polymesh which is going to be to be a bit hard if you want to edit that um, 3d um, model in AutoCAD so it's better that you export that in ACI solids and unicodes you want to select that inches foot whatever you want to do all right so in general I want to export that room space anywhere boundary so I want to check that on and go back to a layer so here you can change the layers you've got some standard um, layer formats as well so you've got American British ISO standard format and I'm gonna click OK so our file has been set up and here I've selected my few elevations and 3d view just select these two as well I'm gonna click next and now I'm gonna select the name so here you've got another option to export views on sheets and links to external references so make sure you keep that on as well I've got my host project name so here you got a few options here you want to export that as the AutoCAD 2007, 2010 or 2013 so it's all about whatever um, version of AutoCAD you have in your system so I'm going to save that on my desktop and I'm going to click OK so now Revit's going to export everything for us alright so on the desktop as you can see that I've got a few files from Revit which has been converted to DWG for AutoCAD so I've got my house elevation I've got a floor plan here and I've got my 3D view here. So with the 3D view, let's go and open that 3D view basically. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna open with AutoCAD. All right, so there you go, we got our 3D view there. So I'm just gonna orbit that. All right, so as you can see that we got our Revit file in our AutoCAD file. So let's select some objects. So as you can see that these are all solids available here. And if you go to your layers, you got all the layers available as well. I'm gonna make that to shade it and let's go back to our home tab and here I can see show you that I've got all my layers available as well. Alright guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. If there's any question leave that in a comment and I will try to answer that and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Chase.